What is good, everyone? It is Zigzag here. Welcome back to GeoGuessr Explained. Today we are back on the play along, um, and the links for today's games and tomorrow's games will be in the description. Give the video a like if you're enjoying the series, and let me get into explaining uh, today's games, which are going to be Diverse World and Rural World. We're going to run back on Rural World because we did rather poorly yesterday, so let's check this round out. So immediately noticing these wooden poles here, um, it kind of feels like with the white center line that it's most likely to be Europe, but not too many countries in Europe use wooden poles, mostly north and south. The middle mostly using like concrete poles. So particularly like Greece, UK, Sweden, Norway, Finland, they're the, they're the kind of wooden pole nations here. Okay, so we take a look around it here, we can see the Generation 2 camera with the big circular blur at the bottom, and so that should mean that we're going to be somewhere um, in Western Europe, generally speaking. Western Europe and Greece are the countries with uh, with Generation 2 camera. Uh, okay, so taking a look over here, definitely seems good for Greece in my opinion. Uh, we have a very tall pole here. Uh, the, the, pol the poles in uh, Greece gen tend to be taller for whatever reason, they must have bigger trees available. And uh, yeah, looking around, we have like a lot of pines, a lot of kind of more southern looking trees, as well as this kind of very uh, pale road and a very dry landscape. So I think Greece is good. We can confirm by looking at the sun, which is directly south, so northern hemisphere it's gonna be. And uh, yeah, I would just say we're somewhere like maybe, maybe in this kind of region here, maybe in this kind of region here, I would say that's probably the two best regions for this one, just because it's like rolling hills. We don't see any uh, ocean anywhere here and it feels quite warm. So I think that's what I'll go for here. Uh, other possibilities, like this could have been something like Croatia if it wasn't generation two. Otherwise, like, okay, Sicily, Sardinia, one of these islands, Balearic islands are still possible maybe, but yeah, I think it's really gonna be Greece here. And it was 53 kilometers away, so that's a really nice start off to the seed there. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the next one here. We are on one country street. Okay, next one here is quite nice. Um, so as you can kind of see here, uh, well, let's let's just run into uh, let's just run through where we can get the country from here. So we have a bunch of wooden poles here, as well as actually, it seems like we have all wooden poles. That's really interesting. So generally speaking, um, in Russia, which is where we are, you will see some more uh, concrete poles. Generally speaking, but seeing wooden poles like this is also possible. Um, uh, we have fences in front of the houses. That definitely gives me Russian vibes here. The fact that it's a dirt road and it's very wide is quite Russian as well. And then yeah, just looking at the like this kind of wooden house here, just you wouldn't see it outside of like Russia or the Baltics, I think, or Russia, Ukraine, and the Baltics. Um, and so it's also generation four, so we know it's not Ukraine, and it also feels very, very rural in a way that makes me think we're probably east in Russia. We have a red roof here, bright red roof, and we have a bright blue roof as well. That's something that's common to see in Siberia, like bright colored roofs like that. Uh, but you can see it all over Russia as well. Uh, I think uh, blue roofs, you know, they tend to say uh, east of Moscow, so it's not that helpful. And even still, you can see it west of Moscow as well, but generally speaking, it's like that. Um, so it also feels like a bit like forest fiery here. Uh, we've got like a bit of a haze in the sky. So off when you see that kind of thing, it should lead you to guess like somewhere um, either east or west of Yakutsk, and normally west of Yatsk Yakutsk has a lot of that. So I think you might guess there. You also get quite a lot of that, like a, a bit of like that kind of bush fiery coverage around Ulan Uda. However, in this example, I would say that um, it's too flat for that kind of area um, around by Baikal, there's plenty of mountains. So I, I somehow think that this is most likely, even though like it is a bit weird. Like just the fact that we uh, like don't really see too much going on here is really interesting. I think I think we should be somewhere up all the way there, even though it, yeah, I don't know if the vibes are quite correct. So I'll go there and we'll see. And it was actually just north of Tomsk there, so a bit more in terms of that uh, of that winter coverage, but uh, or that um, not winter coverage, but that uh, bushfireish coverage there. Not one I'd say in there. So uh, yeah, we'll move forward to the next round here. Uh, this one's quite easy based on car meta, but let's just zoom in here and take a look at what we've got, what we've got going on. Um, so we have a square pole here, which is painted gray at the bottom. Immediately that gives me a really good idea. So South America doesn't use too many square poles at all, I would say. Um, now let me think, you have like squared off poles in Brazil and Chile, but they're not just square concrete poles. So this is like more the style of like a Russian pole, uh, but clearly based on the architecture and, you know, just the vibes here, we're not going to be any anywhere in Russia. So, 
Um, given that's the case, square poles, you can see them in Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. And I dare say this is going to be Dominican Republic, given, or I know it because of the car here, um, but also the, the gray painted pole bottom here is meant to be a thing for Santiago de los Caballeros. So uh, I think that's where we're going to be here. Also, blue barrels is interesting. I'm not, I've not actually come across that as a meta. However, over in, in, uh, over in Malaysia on Labuan Island, they had to have a lot of blue barrels lying everywhere. So you can remember that next time you, next time you see a few blue, blue barrels in um, Malaysia. Obviously, we have the roof rack here filled in with the black rubber uh, with the white front of the car. Like most times when you see this shape, that should be the back of the car in GeoGuessr. But in this example, we have like kind of a long pickup truck. So that's the front. And then also, if we were playing NMPZ, you could see this square blur at the back, which is the tracker blur. Uh, yeah, we have another one of these square poles. Actually, this one's round, but it is painted gray at the bottom, so that's helpful. And uh, we should be lacking front plates as well. Well, we don't see any cars, but in in, uh, in Dominican Republic, you're lacking front plates, so that's also really useful. But the same goes for Puerto Rico. So if you don't have any Google car, it can be difficult, but they have this, like, Puerto Rico doesn't have the trekker blur at the back, so that's the way you tilt apart. Well, it's 2.5 kilometers away there, so that's a good one. Also a bit hilly, which is less common over the other side in, uh, in Santo Domingo. Okay. Okay, next one here, we are in Japan. We got the low camera here. We got the white painted poles, left-hand drive, as we can see from here from the stop sign. And that's about all we need to say there. So uh, now we need to be looking for anything quite specific here. Um, I'm looking primarily at tops of poles here. Don't really see anything that I would I would classify as too useful. We had a guy wire, which direction was that? So we have this guy wire, the black and white one. I, I think, I'm not really good at guy wise, but I feel like that's north of Tokyo, uh, this black and white one. I could be wrong. And also maybe Shikoku as well, but this doesn't give me Shikoku vibes. So I'm thinking north of Tokyo somewhere here is my is my initial thought. Uh, do we see any like wrapping on the pole? I think like that those blue characters might be something, but not something I'm familiar with. I've been trying to learn some more Japan matters, but they're very difficult to remember, I think. Um, anyway, so I would say I would opt for something like Sendai here, I think. Um, any city like in this kind of region here, it doesn't feel quite like sparse enough to be Hokkaido. It could be any, like as far as Nagoya, I think, but I feel like it is north of Tokyo as I kind of thought. And it was actually in Sendai there, that's very good. It kind of picked the bigger city. It did kind of have like a suburban vibe to it. So I thought like big city and it works out very nicely for us. So very good indeed. Next one here, we are on round number five and we have some snow poles here with the Austrian flag on them. Couldn't say I know these, but I think the vibes of the round will be enough here. So, ooh, interesting. So we do have, we do not have an antenna. And when I looked all around, I thought with this dry landscape and with no antenna, we should probably be in Turkey. Then I saw something that made me uh, double take because we have a yellow reflector inside the guardrail. So I believe in Europe, yellow reflectors is Spain, Andorra, and Lithuania. Unless I'm mistaken, I think that's the three countries that use yellow reflectors. So we should just be somewhere in Spain here. And if it's Spain, then it feels maybe like somewhere near Madrid here with this kind of rocky landscape with a few trees. I feel like this is right near Madrid or something like that, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it should just be Spain. Interesting that we have these snow poles. I mean, I think Spain uses a whole bunch of different ones, so it only makes sense. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for here. Let's see if we're correct about that vibe. And it was not too far, I guess. So there we go, 20,000 points. Let's see how you guys did. Obviously, uh, definitely missed out when it came to the Russia there, but we're just going to check out how people did further down the leaderboard. Um, because this was a relatively difficult seed with that Russia. Um, and then also like a few of the other rounds, if you didn't know car meta or something were also quite difficult, I would say. Okay. So let's, uh, go back over here. We let, we'll pick Jack and BTVL here and see how they did. Okay. So as for the Dominican Republic, we had one in Puerto Rico and one in Malaysia or Singapore even. Yeah, Singapore. Okay, so as for that round, I really think the big thing to go for there is the Google car meta. If you're not going to use that, then just like a lot of the wall, the houses had walls around them. Felt fairly nice. Uh, and that square concrete pole. Okay. Uh, Spain, we had one correct guess and then one Turkey guess. That's probably... Uh, I probably would have figured it out, but that's definitely a, like the best second guess, so not bad. Just remembering those yellow reflectors. Uh, Greece, then we had Generation 2, so Albania and Romania wouldn't have Generation 2 as a rule. I mean, it's very rare in Romania and impossible in Albania, so you can remember that. Um, apart from that, kind of that like hilly road with tons of trees, I don't know, and that, and that kind of lighter road. The lighter road would be more common in Greece than in Albania, I think. Uh, regardless, I mean, the Balkans all kind of use lighter roads, but definitely that looks like a green 
Greek one to me if you want to uh, look back at it. Okay, so, so these guesses like were about as far away for, as, as mine was, but kind of worse because, uh, well, around Moscow you would see kind of like a nicer, like a nicer, uh, like there'll be more rich uh, neighborhoods and stuff like that. Even this far out, you can see more fancy houses. It wouldn't feel so rural. And Ukraine is not a correct guess because there can't be Generation 4 there. So that is pretty much what we need to know for that. Um, the Japanese guesses were fine here, I would say. And uh, that is about it. Okay, let's move to rural world where we really struggled yesterday. So let's see if we can uh, do a little bit better today. First one here is quite distinctively Britain or Ireland. Reason being, we've got like rock walls on the side of the road here and sheep. Uh, there are not many sheep in Europe, to be honest. Um, so as far as I, I saw a map the other day when I was uh, uh, doing some map guessing with friends and it was only Ireland, UK and Greece that actually had a lot of uh, sheep being um, raised. And it, it does appear that like this is not Greece because it's so green. Uh, so yeah, rock walls, feeling good about uh, Ireland here, probably maybe UK. I don't know, looking around, like, yeah, it definitely feels kind of like West Coast Ireland. Now, we do have water here, which is kind of more more Eastern, actually. So, um, maybe got to think about, hmm, I mean, what do we have to think about here? Probably like South south or Southeastern Ireland. I don't really know. Uh, maybe it could even just be North Ireland, which would be annoying. We could always guess that. We're not going for a country streak here. We're just going for the best score we can. Um, we do see a land across there, so maybe we could even be... Well, where could we be here? We could be in a cove like that. This is kind of what it reminded me of more of. So I kind of want to do that a little bit. Um, I don't really know where, but yeah, something like that, I guess, could could work for us here. Definitely see land across the uh, like river there, or uh, not river, but I guess lake. So that's pretty good. I think I think my vibe should be correct here. If not, then definitely could just be like somewhere in Scotland or something like that as well. Um, do we see anything else here to actually uh, give it away? I don't really think so. Um, one good note is that Generation 3 camera is quite uncommon in um, in Ireland. So Generation 4 and Generation 2 uh, should be everything you see outside of towns and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's try it out here, see if we were correct about it. And it was actually just in, like, England, actually. There you go. Okay. So I can definitely see it, but uh, definitely a difficult one being on a peninsula there. Uh, we got the latitude right. Not that it really matters, but yeah. Okay. Next one here. Uh, rural world's not meant to be easy, so... We're missing a country again so far. So this is an interesting one. I actually got to check the sun direction here. I would assume it's North America. Sun is to the south, so yeah, it should be north. Now I could definitely see why a lot of people would want to go Europe here. Uh, there's two main reasons that I don't want to. Number one, we don't have an antenna in generation three here. So you'd normally see an antenna in most countries where, which would be possible in a situation like this. Like no antenna countries are mostly Southern Europe. Like, okay, it could still be like Italy or something like that, but kind of unlikely to me. Uh, and then we also have a very wide dirt road which definitely reminds me more of North America in the in the sense that it's like so wide. Um, and I'm thinking of like Ontario here just because Canada has more wide dirt roads. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's interesting here. We got like some autumn coverage. Not really sure where you'd see that, to be honest. It doesn't really ring a bell. I mean, this could still be Europe, but what bait it would be. I mean, the road is just surely too wide for Europe. Okay, if it was Europe, I guess it would be Norway. But it's too flat for Norway, so I just don't believe it. Um, but as for that, I'm still not exactly sure where it should be. So I guess I'll just like, maybe it's even like Quebec. Maybe Quebec is actually better here. I feel like the landscape might fit it better. I might go near Sherbrooke Hills, test it out. And it was actually in Ontario instead, uh, near Iron Bridge there. So definitely uh, like a region I don't know too much about. Um, good to know we have some uh, autumn. I'm not really sure how like extensive that is, but good to get the country anyway. Okay, next one here, we have a long antenna instead. So this time, not really so much thinking of uh, North America because of that long antenna. Instead, thinking of Europe here. And this is interesting. We have a whole bunch of like shortish trees, plus this white car long antenna. That means we're fairly far north, right, with these trees. I would have thought that Iceland or Sweden were the main possibilities here. Thinking of Iceland, honestly. Despite the number of trees, the fact that we're on a dirt road, plus the fact that we kind of have, like, this yellow grass plus random, like, hills like that, does make me feel good about Iceland. Uh, we don't see any bollards, although that could be an Icelandic bollard. If I'm, like, straining my eyes, it could just be grass behind a tree, but it also does kind of look like a bollard. So maybe that's my confirmation bias, but I, I feel like it's good. I feel like it's good here. Uh, anything else down in the distance? I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you think it's Iceland, but you don't see any bollards, you got to question yourself because most rounds in Iceland have bollards, I would say. Anyway, this, like, vegetation feels very northern. So I like it a lot. Let's just go near Reykjavik here and hope for the best. It was 60 kilometers away, so that's a pretty good result, I would say. Okay. 
Next one here, we've got Generation 2 coverage, again, thinking of Western Europe here. It's very flat, so immediately thinking of um, of uh, Netherlands as a possibility. However, this lat pull down uh, pole top that I've been talking about many times, that would be more seen seen um, kind of south of Netherlands in, in the in the four or five countries south of Netherlands. So I think it might be I think it might be Luxembourg, given that it's generation two, could also be Belgium. But I feel like we're gonna get a good score here. It doesn't really feel too French to me. Uh, whatever that is, is that a building or is that just something for farming? I think it's a farming piece of equipment, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so feeling good here. Obviously, it's very flat, which is strange for Luxembourg, which is quite hilly. So I'll go in the south, but yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere here in this region of the two countries. And it was indeed Luxembourg on the German border instead, but we gain a good number of points there. And we're actually going quite well here. Let's see what this last run has to offer here. And so we're looking at some right hand drive country here, black topped ballads. These nipple top ballads, which actually have a snow pool within them, are found in the alpine countries of Austria and Slovenia. Uh, and I'm thinking Austria here, just with the fact that, um, I don't know, it feels a bit more developed if I look at the buildings. Like this one, for example, feels like quite a Western European building. Um, uh, the road would be a bit ambiguous. Like it's not the best quality, but it could still be either country for that reason. Um, Austrian flag on the back of a helicopter there, that surely counts for something. And when you have like kind of this flat mixed with very tall mountains, like that kind of thing, I, I do think of like kind of this region out here, um, I wonder if we could be like, yeah, like in like kind of a like plateau like here would make a lot of sense to me. Um, so, I mean, why don't we try and go for like a nice score here, uh, pick a, pick a reasonably lining up road. I mean, I don't really see that we'd actually be here, I guess, but I don't know, I still, I still get the feeling that we're rather close here, so I want to see if I can find something that lines up. Uh, it doesn't really seem like, seem like we're going to see that exactly. We'll go for that, but uh, regardless, it should just be somewhere in the Alps region here. Um, and of course, that, that would exclude kind of the more flat areas around here. And then these are the taller mountains out here. So I feel like I'm good with this guess. And it was actually just further towards the um, Italian, well, not really, yeah, Italian border, I guess. Uh, and uh, there we go, 20,000 points. Not too bad there. Let's check out how people did um, over here and uh, give some advice to people who may have done more poorly. Guys, give the video a like if you're enjoying this series so far. And uh, yeah, let's just, uh, we'll only have to press it a few times here to get some uh, worse scores, I think. Yeah, we're already down to 13K. So we're gonna go for It's Marky Mark, and we're gonna go Henrik as well. So we'll see how these two fellas played. Okay, so first one here. Um, they both went Ireland as well on the UK round. Definitely understandable. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing really to say because I made the same mistake. As for this one, definitely Netherlands landscape, but the generation two plus that pole top pretty much excluded Netherlands. France guess is not too bad. Um, um, obviously, like, the fact that it's generation 2 makes Luxembourg just a bit more likely. And then, I don't know, just, just something vibes-wise as well gave it away to me. Um, then we had a Bosnia guess and an Austria guess here. So Bosnia doesn't have official Google coverage, so it's never a good guess in GeoGuessr, unless you're hedging between maybe <laughs> um, here in Croatia or in Serbia, but these two places look quite different, so I don't really think it's ever a good guess. Um, as for over here, that's, a, that's an even better guess than mine, so yeah, not much to say there. Um, the Iceland guesses, we had two Russia guesses. So, yeah, white car with a long antenna is possible in Russia. It's rather unlikely. Normally, you'll have the black car with the antenna um, or no antenna at all. But, yeah, that's not bad. That's not, like, not a bad shout considering that. Nevertheless, like, all the trees we had were very small and we had, like, a very brown dirt road. That would remind me more of Iceland. But maybe that's just something you have to see a little more. I don't really know how... how I'm, I can't really be a good judge of how hard or easy that round was, I think. Um, regardless, we also had two Europe guesses, like I kind of predicted, for this uh, this North America round in Ontario. So we had a Lithuania and we had a Sweden. So, yeah, I think the, the road was kind of a bit, like, redder in Ontario than what you'd see like in Sweden, for example. And then for both countries, you wouldn't expect to see such a wide road, I would say. Uh, and then no antenna is the big giveaway. So you would see some no antenna generation three in Norway, it's quite rare. Then you would see some in Poland, but all these other countries here, you would never see that. So uh, makes it kind of a worse guess if you can differentiate your camera generations, which you can learn about on my main channel uh, or on this channel, there's a link to my tutorials playlist where you can learn about it. But guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was fun to play along with you and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time guys and goodbye.